Today is Saturday the 20th of March 2021. It's a significant day as it's a day of worldwide demonstrations against the coronavirus measures put in place by governments across the globe. This video isn't about the demonstration though. This day is significant for another reason. We now have a year's worth of COVID mortality data to dissect from NHS England. Now it's simple enough to find. If you go to NHS England and all the links to all your data and sources um, can be found on combatcancelculture.com. So if we click the NHS link, it will take us to NHS England um, statistics area. And you'll find on the left here, you've got COVID-19 daily deaths. Click that. There's a lot of links to different data sets on here. So it's confusing to know which one to look for. However, if you scroll down, you'll find the COVID-19 all announced deaths one. Now that isn't the one we're after. As good as it is, it actually shows uh, deaths that had COVID-19 on the certificate. However, um, they weren't actually tested positive. And also it doesn't go into the finer details and split things down into age groups and things. So we actually want the one further down, which is this one here. And as you can read there, the weekly announced file is updated on a weekly basis and contains information on the deaths of patients who have died in hospitals in England and tested positive for COVID-19. And this file contains breakdowns by ethnicity, gender, and age group, as well as the pre-existing conditions. This spreadsheet is extremely useful and I'd highly recommend it if you'd like to do your own analysis, as you can filter down to things such as deaths by ethnicity, gender, and condition. In this example, we're going to use the tab 3A, deaths by condition. The reason for that is it's uh, nicely laid out and you can see the data in age groups and as also whether or not they've had pre-existing conditions. Now I'm just going to add a couple of columns to the end of this table just because the uh, we need to have the complete yearly total as opposed to just a random rolling total since this began. Um, luckily we have enough data now to do a whole year. Uh, for transparency I'm going to say that the 21st of March 2021, we are going to ignore that week because that's not a full week of data. As you can see there, it says latest data up to 4 p.m. 17th of March 2021. So as that's not a complete week, we're going to dismiss that and we will do a year from the 15th of March uh, 2020 up to the 14th of March 2021. Right, we have our table nicely formatted there. So you can see here, that we've got the total of all time. So that's uh, since they started recording the COVID deaths. And then we've got the yearly total. So the yearly total is the one we're interested in. As you can see, there's very little difference in these numbers, but we want this to be as accurate as possible. And I've added some more columns here. Um, so we're gonna start off with population in age group because I want to work out the population for each age band and then work out the percentages based on that. So there, luckily there's a really useful website we can go to. So if we go back to combatcancelculture.com we can then click on the official data and the Office for National Statistics icon and that will load up the ONS website. And if we can type in at the top there, um, population estimates, and that should bring up, there we go, the population estimates. So the top option there, if you click that, um, there are rather a lot of confusing links in here. So um, it is easy to get lost, but this is the one you want. Um, not the one on the left, you'll notice that's the actual UK figure for whole of UK not just England we want one on the right here and uh, this will load up a document which has a really useful tool in it so if you scroll right the way down right down keep going keep going keep going 
and you'll come to this useful little tool just here and you'll notice uh, on the left it says UK on the right it says England you can set age ranges so we need one for age 0 up to 19 so you just click hold it down until it goes up to the year 19 and uh, then you have the population here so that is the population for 0 to 19 years of age you'll notice this is for the year 2019 you don't need to worry about that too much unfortunately we don't yet have the data for 2020 but what we can see is over the past five years the population has actually increased by 1 million give or take so it's been increasing at the rate of roughly 200,000 per year um, so it's not a huge increase it's not really going to make a massive difference to our figures um, so we're going to use the 2019 uh, figures so we paste that in there and I'm just going to do that for all the other age groups as well now we're just going to work out the percentage of people in each group that died with COVID-19 this is not to say they died of but they died with COVID-19 So we get the yearly total, divide that by the population, and then we need that to be a percentage. Five decimal places, there we go. Now, to give a true reflection, we need to do that for the age groups. Let's copy that. it in there okay that's interesting so as you can see from that certainly the 80 plus group is much higher at risk as expected and obviously goes down to almost nothing um, for the lower ages okay um, and it's interesting to see the pre-existing conditions very very different if you've not got a pre-existing condition that does look very low percentage okay so let's put it another way let's look at the percentage that have not died with covid so the percentage of people in each age band that have survived covid um, this is not to say they had COVID. This is just the percentage of people that haven't died with COVID. Okay, now that is very interesting. So these are the this is the percentage of people that have not died with COVID in England over the past year so even if we take a look at the highest risk group on there the 80 plus what are we looking at we're looking at 98 point well let's round it up 38 percent um, that are fortunately still with us that have survived through this pandemic well these numbers are um they're quite frightening um they're encouraging in a way but very frightening in another I mean look at that one for example the 99.9993 percent that figure there is the kids that should be out having fun learning creating new relationships you know school colleges universities etc uh, making a start in life and unfortunately nine out of a population of 56 million have passed away uh, with having a positive covid test now without even going into the 
reliability of PCR tests and the like. Um, that's not to say that they died of COVID. They might have just died with COVID. We just don't know. But that's um, that's a scarily low number for closing down the whole education system for a year. I think what I'm going to have to do here is I'm going to go to one of those online calculators that work out the odds. Okay, let's open up the converter. And if we just copy out our percentage, and we can paste that in there, and that should give us the fraction. There we go. Okay, wow. Are you ready? This is quite an eye opener. So here are the results. Uh, where do we start? Um, so pre existing conditions. You can see there, uh, let's start with the 80 plus group, um, the most likely um, to be affected by this. So 62.54 to 1 chance of dying with COVID through the year. Let's put that into some sort of perspective. Um, if any of you are betting people, try and think, maybe if you've done the Grand National, can you remember many horses that have ever come in <laughs> with those kind of odds? Um, they're big odds. And, and then we go up to the 60 to 79, which is 340 to 1. Again, huge odds. Uh, and the 40 to 59 bracket, 2,688 to 1. Remember, these are people with pre existing conditions as well. Um, the 20 to 39 year olds um, with pre existing conditions, 29,238 uh, to 1. And then the kids who should be at school. 454,000 to one. Um, it's insane. Um, and that's the pre-existing condition ones. So let's just look at the no pre-existing conditions one. And before we look at the odds, just look at the numbers. Look how low they are. We've shut down the whole of society for... What have we got in there? Uh, one two three probably about three and a half thousand deaths where they've been tested positive for covid um, at the time of death uh, whether or not you know they died of it or with it or even if it was a reliable test but the figure i want to focus on there is the kids that should be at school 1,666,665.67 to one chance of dying with COVID over the year if they don't have any pre-existing conditions. Okay, I've just searched for the odds of dying in a plane crash. Um, and I found this, the first UK article to come up um, as we're talking about uh, the deaths in England, I thought that was more appropriate, um, is this Metro article here, which is a newspaper in London. So let's see what this is saying. Okay. So we've got, got some things um, that can cause you fatal injury here. Let's compare that side by side to the odds that we've worked out here I mean as you can see uh, heart disease is the big killer so even if we base that on the 80 plus group with pre-existing conditions that is working out as you're nine times more likely to die of heart disease and cancer than you are of die with COVID. So I'm just gonna 
leave those details there for you to take in um, and I'm going to stop the video there so if you are interested in looking at this data yourself I will upload this and you'll be able to find the details on www.combatcancelculture.com Thank you very much for watching. Please do share this video with your friends, family and on social media.